So the first thing that you want to do when it comes to disassembling the Latitude E7290 is to take out the SIM card tray. And the SIM card tray is on the same side as the Ethernet port and it's just here. It's below the uh, micro SD card reader. And what you're going to use is you're just going to use one of these uh, SIM card pins that you get with your phone. You're just going to stick it in the hole where the SIM card tray is, like so. Press down and it, and it then comes away. So to take off the bottom case, the bottom lid, the bottom case, sorry, of the Latitude 7290, what you're gonna do is you need to take out eight Phillips head screwdrivers. And they're here, 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 and here. So here we go, I'll just quickly take them off. Now I found these screws really hard to actually come out completely. So I've kind of loosened them as much as I can. And then I leave them in the cover as I flip it off. And then what I'm going to do is I've just got a plastic pry tool and I'm just going to kind of go between the, the case and the actual body of the laptop. And this is a good place to start up here um, at the top right of the laptop where the case is by the screen. And you can see that my lid has come off very easily um, you may and I've already taken it off once so that's part of the reason but when you do it you may just have to run the pry tool round under between the cover and the actual body of the laptop and then it will just snip off like so so once the bottom cover is off we can then take the battery out and the battery and you can see it here this large black uh, rectangle is held in by two screws Phillips head screws so you've got one screw here and one screw here so need to unscrew these first put the screws in a safe place And then also what you've got here is you the battery is held in with a plug here. So all we're going to do is the plug, the connector has a black tab for you to hold on to. Just gently pull it up and the battery comes away like so and we can see that this is a 60 kilowatt battery and the type is F3YGT it's a 7.6 7 7.6 volt battery having done all of that removing the wireless LAN card and or also the WWAN card is fairly simple. They're both held in by they're both held in by um, a Phillips screw, which has got a holding bracket on it. So I'm just going to take out. <coughs> so the smaller one here, this is the wireless LAN card. This is for connecting to your home broadband, your home Wi-Fi. 
you can see that the wireless LAN card has suddenly popped up. Now, connected to this card, we've got two color wires, two color of wires. We've got a white wire here, which is on the furthest left, and then a black wire here. These are the plugs for the antenna, which actually run up into the um, through into the lid of the laptop and kind of give um, and act like an aerial similar to the way that uh, the aerial does on on a radio. So what we need to do is we just need to take these plugs, just need to disconnect them from the card like so. So there's the black one. Just popping them up with a, a plastic pry tool. You can probably use your fingers if you like. Okay, and there is there is the card. Let's see if we can. Let me just get my glasses on so I can read. And there's the card there. The model number is, it's an, let me just read this first. It's an 8265NGW. It's an Intel 8265NGW. And you can see it there. So that's the, um, that's the Wi-Fi card for connecting to your broadband. As I said, you can see it's called a half card because it's so small. And then next to it is what is called a WWAN card.